Okay, so in life, if you want something to change, you have to actually be the change you want to see. Now, I'm not just going to leave you with this like cringy ass fucking Instagram caption and then just <laughs> end the video right there. But basically, like, if you want something to change, it won't change on its own because the world just doesn't work like that. So even though change is inevitable, it's inevitable because people actually make it happen. So like, for example, someone like fucking i know gandhi he wanted to see like a change in his like country area whatnot which is a change in the world so he actually went out and like <laughs> did shit about it but like mlk for example he was like yo i, I want this sh i want this shit to change bro I'll i'm tired of this bullshit happening so he was like yo and he like actually went out and did shit he became a public speaker and went to rallies and shit and had his like famous speeches and inspired a lot of people to actually, yeah, follow his movement to change how things were back then. So again, I'll reiterate it. If you want something to change, you have to be the change. You have to make that first step. Now, I'm not acting like you're gonna do one thing and tomorrow it's all gonna be solved, right? There's gonna be no more child slaves in the mines working for Elon Musk. There's gonna be no more hunger, no more homeless. No, I'm not talking about that, right? What I'm saying is that you actually have to go out and do it like the first step and if you keep taking these steps then you go like step one and like is this all right i have to learn about this i have to do this i have to improve i don't know like fucking speaking skills i have to learn more in depth about the topic and like why this is so bad and why it's so rampant in our society or whatever the issue is and then you keep going and you keep going like okay i'm actually gonna take action on this knowledge and whatnot i have and then like you keep going because otherwise nothing's gonna fucking change like women <laughs> just change the topic women well, it's on the same topic but women's rights like modern day feminism's fucking retarded in like first world countries at least it's just like yo men stop being men you're, you're fucking bad however the original feminist move feminist movement is like we're like the women's rights and everything because women just weren't treated as people like they weren't seen by law as people or anything or they might have been but they didn't have rights to vote or do any of the other shit i'm pretty sure they were just like objects to their husband like by law and society standards so group of women they're like yeah it's kind of fucking bullshit you know like what if we were like actually people oh that'd be pretty cool so they actually started protesting they actually did something they actually went out and actually fucking did something and then more women around the world were like yo these women are onto something bro let's let's also do that shit and then more and more people did it and happened around the world and whatnot and probably a bunch of other stuff are missing out and then boom women actually had rights after like 30 40 i don't know 20 10 i don't know how many years it took but after a bit of time they actually had rights which is like the goal they were seeking out in the first place but like just imagine imagine mlk he was just like you know racism and all this shit it's just kind of retarded but like ah oh, i'm just i'm just i'm just not gonna do anything how can we fuck doing anything about this you know i'm just not gonna change anyone's life and then he never did like imagine if he didn't do that imagine if gandhi was like you know what? i'm just i'm just I'm just not gonna protest, I'm not gonna starve myself, I'm just gonna sit here and accept life. Like, and imagine if, like, the suffragettes, they're just like, oh, we're women, and society tells me we don't have rights, so I'm just gonna, just gonna comply, and just, uh, just, imagine if none of them took action on the change they wanted to see. Nothing, none of the good, none of the anything, none of the changes that came from the movements would have happened. So again, if you want a change to happen, you have to be the change that you want to see. If you want the fucking, I don't know, education system to actually be updated, well, you gotta actually do something about it. Now, it's a big thing to change, so like, I'm not saying just like that tomorrow, you might not even get through it in 10 or 20 years, but you actually gotta do it steps. And like, for example, one of those steps might just be like, grow a fucking brand on social media and then you grow your audience and then eventually when you have enough people behind you that like your stuff and have the same kind of thoughts and ideas as you you go like all right this shit this shit's bullshit all right we need to change this and then you like do all the next steps and then they're like they come with you and then on the journey and shit happens because you actually put in the work to build that brand up and then to to do the other things with your massive support that's just an example also yeah this is also the reason why like fucking there's like petitions and shit like the fucking 14 year old white girls on insta that post like oh my god save iran from the roller and it's like 
sign here. Like, signing here on a fucking petition that's not gonna do shit for the fucking women that are oppressed in Iran or whatever the fuck you're trying to do, right? Like, nothing's gonna come out of that, right? And that's also, like, with, like, the fucking what, Black Lives Matter thing. That's, like, the, the black square, like, the awareness of it and everything and whatnot. That's good. I'm not saying Black, my, black Lives Matter. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just saying that the, uh, the black square poster thing did jack shit. Like, actually being like Kendrick and actually going to a rally. Like, people cr criticize Kendrick Lamar out of all people for not saying anything during that whole, like, George Floyd situation, which is the most retarded shit ever because he literally made, like, a whole album plus heaps of other songs about racism and everything. But, like, he was even seen, like, at protests for Black Lives Matter and everything around that time. He was being the change he wanted to see. He was actually, like, doing shit for the cause. Not just going on Twitter going, but my matter, that's not gonna do, that's not gonna do anything. Changing your fucking profile picture to a black square is gonna do jack shit, alright? You, you actually got to go out into the world and do something. And if that scares you, or if you're too much of a fucking lazy piece of shit to do anything, to be the change that you want to see, then that's fine. Well, it's not, but you can live in mediocrity for the rest of your life. That's if you that's what if that's how you want to do it you can do it and also this i forgot to mention this but this thing also happens for just like just stuff in your life not just like big causes like i know racism or sexism or whatever the fucking other societal issues or whatever like for example say you want to be rich you want to get financial freedom for your family you want to have this level of education you want to learn about this well you actually gotta go out in the world and do it if you actually want to receive those things. I wanted to be a YouTuber, so what did I do? I learned how to make videos, and then I made them. <laughs> it's it's not really like, it's not complicated. You just learn how to do it, and then you do it. That goes for anything in life. Like, I know some things are harder to learn than others, but again, if you want to do it, then do it. So like, I was like, okay, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I learned how to make videos, and then I did them. I made videos. Now there are some people in life that are just like, I swear there's fucking bots. Like, this is another video I'll get into one day. Like, I swear there's just some people that are bots, but some people are doomed to live in mediocrity because they forever live in ignorance of what they actually could do in life and just stay with the normal societal path of like whatever the fuck they want to do, right? But um, if you're watching this video, then you're probably on track, like not to be the person who lives a life of mediocrity. Like, if you can actually sit through this much of an un basically unedited video and just listen to me speak in depth about a topic that interests me and will probably interest you because you're actually fucking listening to it then yeah you you, you you should be fine all right just just find out what you like this, this is just another video for another time but find out what you like what your passion is learn how to do that thing and then do it it's it's really that simple now it's not when you actually do it because like oh this takes a while to find what you like or how to learn how to do it or whatever but like those are the three steps in life you just have to follow if you want anything fucking done so yeah that plus be the change that you want to see it's really that simple